Hello and welcome to the Atlantic Candlefin Singles Tour Season Kickoff Week 1. This Class B Division matchup today between the visiting bowler Andy Klempa and Mike Mac McIntosh. He's back in the fold for the first time in three years. Back, he bowled the summer at a 114 average. Yeah. You yeah. won the Friday Night Pro League with a 117 average recently? A few years ago, yeah. Yeah, and 127, yeah. 128 in your heyday. I when I was a baby. You, yeah. were you were tough to beat, huh? I was a baby, yeah, I was this high. Now yeah. that wasn't 10 pin, that was Candlefin, right? Yeah, that was okay. Candlefin, yeah, in my teenage years. And the, as Jeff Surrett will tell you, that was when I peaked. <laughs> Tell us uh, one of the highlights of your career growing up, or your, your, one of your favorite bowling moves. Uh, most of my highlights came when I was a teenager, honest to God. Yeah, um, kind of running through the tournaments as a kid and uh, really being successful. But you know, as things get as you get older, competition got a little tougher. And yeah, so yeah, that's really that was it. I, my highlight since has been uh, our world's team events and kind of coming in to runner up in that a few times. Couple more questions, you mind? Tell us about your kids. Oh, my, my daughter Molly's six. She's a bowling and baseball fanatic. My son Shane is four. They both bowl in the league here, and they compete in the state tournaments, so they want to do whatever Dad does. Have they beaten you once yet? They have. Molly beat me. <laughs> Molly beat me once. That's okay. She can. She do, can you want, do, you want, do you mind saying the score? <laughs> Crumbled it up real quick. <laughs> Tell us about your also guitarist. You do solo tours. Tell us about your business. Uh, sure. So, yeah. Uh, on, the, uh, on the side, I've been playing guitar for about 25 years, and um, I just started playing out again recently. Yeah, I, I really enjoy that. I play around the Haverhill area, Drake it, Bethune, you name it. Cover songs, so if you want to come out and check it out, I'll, per, I'll, I'll serenade you and your wife. Is there anything particular you focus on, music, a genre, all kinds? Uh, it's mostly a lot of, a lot of 90s, yeah. a lot of like beach feeling type of uh, vibe. Yeah. Just to relax and sit by and have dinner, that kind of thing, yeah. And how can they find out about that? Um, you can check it out on a Facebook page, on the Mike McIntosh Acoustic page, or on YouTube as well. I have a Mike McIntosh page. Right. Good luck yeah. today. Thanks a lot. Let's talk to the visiting bowler. He'll bowl first, Andy Klemper. Come on up here, Andy. Andy. Right, right, right here, please. Nice to meet you, finally. Meet you. How are you doing today? Good, thanks. you got a big match up here, Mike McIntosh. Your thoughts on today's match? I'm just going to go out there and give it my all and hope for the best. You've had a really good year this year. In a lot of tournaments, you've won titles you've won this year. Yeah, surprisingly. Uh, usually, I don't do well in tournaments, but this year, I just got hot at the right time, and I started winning tournaments. Is there something you've, you've changed in your game, working your mechanics or, or any motions or your release to get better? No, I mean, I try to go as much as I can to just work on the shots that I keep missing, especially those nine-pin drops. But yeah. now, how are you how are you working on this? Uh, when you miss a lot of single pin, I know it's aggravating. Are you getting some coaching from some of the pro bowlers to get better at that? I haven't recently, no. The last time I got coaching was when I was in the kids' league. Uh, Peter Flynn actually took me under his wing and started yeah. teaching me on mechanics on since I bowled exactly not, like him. Not a bad choice. <laughs> exactly. All right. right, good luck today. Thank you. So it's a five-string format as always. Week one of 18, AT ACST season, Class B. Five strings, five blocks at a time. Two points for a win, one for tie, four for total. Let's get away here from Academy Lanes. Club 125, the brand-new bar and restaurant here. Check out Academy Lanes. On 725 South Main Street, Haverhill, Mass, in the Bradford section, Route 125. Andy will bowl first. We're on lanes 35 and 36 from Academy Lanes. 35 Either way, you guys decide. Home bowl decides. I'll clear the gutter. Yeah, the gutter first and 36, then we'll start. Both bowls have agreed to do uh, one dollar lemon drop donations to Candlepins for Cancer. If you'd like to donate online, Candlepins number four, cancer.com, help families suffering from chemo radiation treatment. Go strictly to the bowl, the uh, community suffering from chemo radiation out of work to help cover some of the expenses. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. And we have the roll off in Manchester, Lakeside Lanes tomorrow. If you want to bowl, 11 a.m., five string format, five blocks at a time, $80 entry fee. You can also bowl Saturday and Sunday, 11 and 2. Register at Candlepins, number 4, cancer.com. That's Candlepins with a 4, cancer.com. TV taping September 25th at Portsmouth Bowlerama. Live show, five person ladder series. Now we're getting ready to start. Andy Klepper will lead off. He's going to start for lane 35. And Peter Flynn was his mentor growing up. And he has left hand like Peter also. He starts out with a bundle of six. First to five strings underway from Academy Lanes to Haverhill Mass. The Atlantic Candlepin singles to a class B division. Welcome all 32 teams in the C division also, and the 16 teams up north in Maine. The Atlantic Candlepin singles tour this year. Great job by Danny Finn putting it all together. And he's open. And he just turned 31 on July 8th. Big out, missed it. Tough four to start the match. He bowls in the same division as Corey Alisi and Logan Gingrass and Mike McIntosh here tonight. Each 
conference has four teams in division. They bowl each other twice the first three weeks and the last three weeks of the season. Second box for a string. Crosses over, has the his favorite lead, the single pin. Seven pin try to go, holds up. Somebody he's struggling with. The Pro Bowls, they go about 72% of the time. Semi Pros, a lot lower. This is for a spare. No, the curse continues. And he uses two different types of bowling balls. He uses a 2.6 pound Epco Reactive U and a 2.7 pound urethane Epco bowling ball. Likes to wear Dexter shoes. He's a 104 league bowler. He starts with a nine here in the second box. 13 through two. <laughs> 104 bowl now. Highest for you is 116 did in Park Place Lanes in Winter, New Hampshire and also 111 here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Has a high single of 164. He's done it two times. And now he gets a single pin. He's got to stop watching my videos. He has a high triple of 420. Not sure if it's high five, but he did have a 614 in the New Hampshire State title last year in 2021. And he's up the one, two, four, and the eight behind the two pin. Old start here in the first. If you want to join a league here at Academy Lanes, check out with Josh or Ted DeBurro. Academy Lanes Route 125. League starting right up. If you want to join? Give him a call or stop on by. Eight for Andy Klemper. 21 through 3 in the first of five. Week one of the Atlantic Handleman Singles Tour. Bowlers typically bowl twice a, week, twice a month on a flexible schedule. I'll manage to stream live on ACST Facebook page. Andy, nice ball there. Strike! This is the way about a single pin now. 31 plus 2 through 4. What a shot that was. 2 for 4 on the head pin so far. First match, mark of the match. It's high 10, it's 10.42. You listen to Haverhill Mass, Richard and Quincy Mass. Born since 1996. For a double! He's good! Wow, what a strike, what a shot! Wow! 51 plus bonus balls after it's a four box to start. 51 plus bonus balls. What a finish in the first half. Andy Klempa. So you'll be mentally tough in bowling, not get discouraged. Tremendous start, Brandy. And Jordan Britton says he was a beast growing up and seen bowl in a long time. Thank you, Jordan, for watching in. Here's the Mac man. He starts with a strike. We got three strikes in a row. Two by Andy, one by Mike. What do they have for lunch? Burgers and cheese and broth. Mike did bowling now for the first time in about three years. He did bowl in the summer league, average a 114. He's a 128 in his heyday in London, Derry, New Hampshire. He's looking for a double. He gets eight. Has a six and ten, a great piece of wood. Speaking of Jordan, Britton, Corey Lisi, congratulations. Cello for the September 17th nine pin tournament here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Two shifts, I believe, 11 and 2. And you can go on the waiting list if you like. For a spare and strike, he's got it. 20 through 1, 30 in the ball through 2. Right now he's up 17 plus a ball. He's coming up against a double strike in the fourth and fifth box from Andy Klemper. Nothing like the great game of Caleb and Bowling. Mike McIntosh, M A C capital I N T O S H. My least favorite shot, the half Worcester on the spare. Tough break. 32 through 2 in this first of five. He's up 19 right now. But coming up soon, he's up against a double strike from Andy Klemper. We missed a single pin for a spare earlier, too. Good second ball will go. Oh, and the 10 pin does go. <laughs> That's a Justin, I call it a Justin Lyon ace spare. We made a big shot in the first round of the playoffs in the ACST of Riverwalk. Needed the mark after a half whisker chop out and got it to win a match by two pins over Chuck DeRosius. Early match, ACST opening round playoff catch on Kenneth Pavola Network. 42 in a ball through three here in the first. Up against double strike here. Avoids a lemon drop in the dollar and gets three. Spare two, spare three. 
Tough break, 45 through 3, up 24. We have a clear key, very recently, left right in the front desk. All by itself. For three in a row, not this time. One, two, five, and the 10. Five marks here in the first half combined by both bowlers. Three strikes. Nice out for nine. Mike McIntosh the ball Mac. 54 through four. Mike is 42 years old, celebrates his birthday November 15th. He says Paramount 2.7 pound bowling balls. Right in the pocket, beautiful shot for another strike almost. There's the nine pin left up. Looking for his fourth mark of the first half. Start off with the strike. Strike, spare two, spare three, nine, and missed it. They both one for, oh for one on single pins without wood. Tough break. Andy coming up next, working on a double strike. And all grand special missed the second, make the third, 10, 64 half. So the home ball of Mike McIntosh to return to Mike McIntosh. Strong start, 64, but Andy Klemper, even better, 51 plus two bonus balls. Let's see if we can take advantage of so We shift over to lane 36 from Academy Lanes, Hub 125. The Atlanta Candlepin singles to a Class B division. Week one season kickoff, Hongrim, you live. First ball, the double strike, just four. Forty-five through four, down nine right now, up against second double strike ball. Then hit, and leaves up the diamond. Six on the fill, 61 half. So Mike does take, take the lead after all, despite the double strike by Andy Clumper. That four box in the first box didn't help. Three pin lead halfway through the first. And leads up the half west of the two and the eight for an eight. 69 through six, first of five strengths from Academy. A lot of leaks are getting ready to start now. Hopefully the wire power will hang on. The south bar, lane 36, seven blocks first strength. It's two. Speaking of Jordan, Brittany, Corey, Lisa, they host Candlepin Corner podcast typically every Sunday night, most of the time, around after 8 o'clock. Check out Candlepin Corner on Twitch, subscribe free. With Amazon Prime, you must subscribe on Twitch. Candlepin Corner, hosted by Jordan, Brittany, and Corey, Lisa. Parallel pins, plus the three. The Andy Klemper. And it's four of the five for a nine. 78 through seven. I want to get a mark or two. Again, two points for a win, one for tie, four for 12. If you just joined in, this is what happened so far. The idiot four, they got a double strike. Not great fills on it, but it helped his overall score. Mike, a strike, but a spare. Half push to two and a three spare. Lowered his score, but 64 half. And that one got away. It's a gutter ball. Reset here. So two balls to go. Well, now go for a spare in the second ball. Other podcasts include Ripping the Rack podcast with Tim Matero, Brian Athern, and Calvin Lockett from Canada. Gee, every two weeks on your local your favorite podcast page, Facebook page, YouTube, all kinds, Spotify. And also the Approach podcast with Danny Finn and Jeremy Seahorn on your favorite social media page. Nice ball for a second or third strike almost. And he struggles with single pins. He's got wood to help this time. Hit a nine drop in the second box and missed it for a spare. He's that wood's the right to sweep it over. And he's got it. 88 in the ball through eight here in the first. Two strikes and one spare in the string. Uh, correction, I'm behind a box, 10. Oh, that's right, there's a gutter ball. So much for a perfect broadcast. Still looking at still looking my first one. So 88. Drop out the gutter ball all of a sudden. You can't have a three hour sleep the last four days. A little more last night. One of the nine lead for Andy Klemper. So a two ball, ten box, you could say. Last box. And off the wall, he got it. Nice shot. This time it's a spare. 
98 the ball through nine. First to five. Now he has one spare officially and two strikes. Double strike in the fourth and fifth box. That two nine drops. Gets seven. Has the one, the six, and the ten with a good piece of wood in between. 105 through nine. Mike McIntosh up next at 64 half. And hooked it. Just everything. Yikes. Grand Special again. Missed the second, make the third. He's had a couple of those. 115 string, though. Good string for the 104 League Bowler. 115 first string. Will it be enough? Mike McIntosh leads 64 to 61 halfway through. Three marks you ought to start the match. A strike for two low spare fills. He's 116 to take two points. Should they tie? One point each. Four for total later on. So we'll need a couple of marks to probably win the string. One anyway. Five tens to, won't do it. Head pin has the three six to the right, the seven to the left. Wi Fi penning tomorrow night. Check out the rock star Aaron St. Cyr hosting the Terminator Charlie Collins around 8 15, 8 30 tomorrow night here at Academy Lane Table Mass. Beautiful shot. Oh, just hooked. I thought he had the corner that three pin wouldn't go. Open box. The rock star. In the Terminator tomorrow night, Aaron St. Cyr, Charlie Collins, ACST, week one, class A matchup. And he gets a nine, 73 through six in the first of five. He's up four in the string. Needs 43 in four boxes to win the first two points of the year. Each follow with three marks. Matt, two pulls, spread eagle plus the eight behind the two pin. A perfect shot, nothing to show for it. Try to go three and a four, he goes to the four instead, he gets three. Seven pin left corner, three, six, ten to the right. Trying to get at least three here. He pays with the Indies nine box. And does, almost gets a 10, he does get a 10, what a shot. Well, he's never seen to go for spares. 83 through seven here in the first, a five in the string. But up against a perfect final three boxes, a 10 spare, seven and 10, Randy Klemper. So he's 33 and three. So he needs one mark at least. Well, his rank is three. Andy's high single is 210. Did that at Park Place Lanes in Wyndham, New Hampshire. Also in Park Place Lanes in Wyndham. High triple of 505. His high five is 769 at Park Place. High 10 of 1130 at the Londonderry Bowling Center. No longer there. Second ball, two full. Triangle plus the seven. Triangle consists of the five to the left, three to the six to the right. Put away for six, 89 through eight. So two blocks to go. Here's the situation. Andy Klumper, a spare seven to 10. So Mike needs a mark and a good fill. Great first three matches, class B season kickoff. The Atlantic Candlepin singles tour. Mac, beautiful ball for a strike, it's nine. Seven pin left up. Single pins go about between 68 and 72% of pro bowls on wood. Stats provided by Canlipin Bowling Network. This is for a big spare. And he's on it. 99 of the ball. He'll need seven and a 10 box, seven fill and a 10 at least to win the strike by one. Mike with three spares and one strike here in the first. And three in a row to start, including a strike to start the match. Andy, a double strike, four and six fill. But a four box in the first could cost him the string box. Terrific lineup here tonight. On the bonus, St. Hick crossing over. 
He got a seven. He got eight. He got nine. He gets ten. Strike on spare. And he'll take the first two points of the season. Second strike of the string. Three squares. Wow. 119 plus two. Close to left. Breaks the parallel pins. One five center, eight to the left, nine in the back to the right. Good piece of wood in between. Right now he's up to 125. Great start. And he closes the first out with a nine in the strike zone, a 128. That was glory days when his average was a 128. 128 to 115. Mike McIntosh, the Mac Man, the Guitar Man. Going on tour here in the first for the 128-115 victory over Andy Klemper. The goal well enough to win. And Mike McIntosh leads by 13. The Atlanta Kempton Singles Tour, Class B Season 1 matchup here. The Academy Lane Table Mask, Pub 125, Paul Grant, you live. Thank you for watching this great game of Kennebec Bowling. If you want to make some money, the TV roll-offs continue tomorrow, Thursday, 11 a.m. Kennel Pits for Cancer, qualifying rounds, Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire, 11 a.m. Register Kennel Pins number 4 cancercom That's Kennel Pins number 4 cancercom Two shifts available on the weekend, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Register Kennel Pins for cancercom That's Kennel Pins number 4 cancercom If you cannot bowl, please join the charity, Kennel Pins number 4 cancercom Any amount is appreciated. No lemon drops in that first drink. Second string of five underway. Nice ball, nine. Andy, I know mentally that single pins have been in his head. He's missed one, made one. One without wood, one with wood. And this will be a tough shot. And one spare and a double spike in the first. And missed it to the left. The urge is a bowl when you miss it. You want to at least hit the wood of a chance. One for three in single pins. And it wasn't there anyway. It didn't matter. Nine. I knew that was coming. What I thought I would, I get up and I And he's home lanes right here at Academy Lanes Haverhill Mass. His father took him to the lanes before he could even walk. He won the all events in the kids' league and went to lanes and games representing the Northern Division. He was young. So on numerous state tourneys, including the Mass State's mixed doubles this year, Mass State teams, and Mass State all events all this year. Gets four in that first ball. Beautiful second ball, almost. What a try. He's at the six pin. Can't make the easy ones, it seems like. And he also won a New Hampshire State handicap singles this year. New Hampshire State mixed doubles handicap title. Nine, 18 through 2 in the second of 5 from Haverhill. He also won the Coca-Cola Knockout Tournament this year at Academy Lanes. When he was young, he went to Canada in a kids' league on a tour. His least favorite leave is the single pin without wood. Nice ball in the pocket. It has the 5 to the left, the 3 to the right. A good piece of wood in between, the 10 in the corner. Mike won the first string, 128 to 115. Mike's up 13 in the match. And he looked for his first mark of the string, hooked it right. He's up to three in the five. And he's bowling here was Peter Flynn, like he said in the pregame interview. Took him under his wings to help him out, prove his game. Also a Chris Sargent fan as well. Not a couple of bad choices. 10 for Andy, 28 through 3. First of 18 weeks in Atlanta Kennelpin Singles Tour. Class B was last year known as the Semi Pro Division. This year it's called Class A, B, and C. This is the B class right now. Congratulations to Fernando Cachana, who won the Semi Pro last year. And Matt Susie won the Pro Division last year, now the Class A Division this year. Hoisted that trophy on Monday at Lita in the week one matchup. 
Yes, Nick Leitre went 10 and 4 to watch it on Kenneth and Bowling Network. And Atlanta Kenneth and Singles to a Facebook page. Six for Andy. Not the start he wanted here in the second. Had double strike in the fourth and fifth blocks in the first, but only 34 through four here in the second of five. Atlantic Kenneth and Singles Corp. Say again. Atlantic Kenneth and Singles Corp. Andy goes right, has the one, two, nine, and ten. Look for his first mark. He had two strikes and one spare in the first. Four, he fills a four and six in the double strike and a spare seven in the ninth. Beautiful shot. He got a spare. Nice bounce back in that six box of 44 half plus one. Fourth mark of the string. Two spares, two strikes. And Mac is coming up. Mike McIntosh won the first 128 to 115. He needed the mark to win it on the stretch, and he came through. With a spare strike nine. Win at 128-115. It's a 44 plus one half. Starts off with a head pin hit. Has the four to the left, the ten to the right. One piece of wood. Mike is just a terrific guy on and off the lanes. Very popular bowler. Hasn't bowled for three years with COVID and other things. Family. Try to sweep it over. It's missed everything to the left. Shanked it. He bowled the Caleb and the Cancer Claw from around at Metro Bowl in Peabody a few months ago. But he bowled like a little bowled himself. The first string of the 128. It's a 9. Tied in the string. Up 13 in the match. Mike played baseball to his 13. Bowling since he was 5 years old. Also played wrestling in high school and college and some curling in college also. Enjoys watching baseball and hockey on TV. Nice ball in the pocket for a strike. Yes. 19 plus 2 here in the second. He's got three strikes of his own in the match. Andy with two. Mike with three. Five strikes, five spares combined for these two bowlers. He's up one in the string plus two bonus balls. Up 14 in the match. Mack on lane 35. The pocket again. Almost another one. Four in the first ball in the strike. Moving up the four pin. Clean shot at it again. Looking for two in a row. Five string matchup. Looks good. Oh, he just missed it. Hooked it. Thought he had it. Way back here, but then it curved left. Missed up it. He's missed two single pins of his own. Each ball missing two single pins. 28 through 2, up 10 in the string, 23 in the match. And the Hall Grant special again, missed the second, make the third for a 10, 38 through 3. Remains a 10 pin lead in the string, 23 in the match. I'm going to put up a little bit earlier than normal. In case you're joining in late. A terrific week one matchup here in the Class B division of the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Corps. Mac again on the head pin, a little thin this time. 2.7, the 8 behind the 2 pin. Piece of wood in between the 2 and the 4 and the 10 in the corner. He's up against a 6 box and a spare. He's the object pin, leaves up the 2. Mike collects baseball cards. He gets autographs from baseball players, hockey players, wrestlers, WWE, TNA. Also enjoys fishing, hanging out with his friends, and going to massive amounts of... That's actually Andy, rather. Andy's the baseball card collector. As Mike gets 10, 48 through 4. Andy, Andy's the baseball card collector. And a big wrestling guy. Mike from Haverhill, Mass, originally Derry, New Hampshire, has a 2 1 split, has the 6 to the right, the 9 to the left, 7 pin left corner, one piece of wood. 5 for 5 and a head pin here in the second. Mike's grandmother got him involved. She lived near Park Place Lane. She took him there. And Mike met Hall of Fame at Carol Downey, who taught him just about everything he knows. The Hall of Fame at Carol Downey, who listens to a lot of our, watches a lot of our broadcasts. So 
Special shout out to Carly and Downey, Downey in Florida. Try to get to the ball of the women's doubles event, but she has a bad shoulder. That's both gears. Mack and eight, 56 half. So he has a 12 pin lead right now, halfway through the second string of five, from Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. Season kickoff, Class B division, Paul Grinty live. Andy Klemper on lane 36, with the spare, 44 in a ball. Great first string. A lot of great shots, some missed shots, but a high scoring affair. Andy on the bonus, it's five as the pack of five, the Hayville, 49 half. So he trails by seven in the string, 20 in the match. This is the object pin leads at the one and nine. So he's the baseball card collector. And if uh, any of the league balls are interested, Darren's going to be running a strike pull behind lanes 23 and 24. If anyone's interested, just go see Darren. And Boston is dead pin for nine. 58 through six in the second of five from Haverhill. Check out the new restaurant and full bar, a beautiful looking place on the right side of the alleys. Pub 125, 725 South Main Street. This is the full approach in this delivery. On the bonus, a beautiful shot, breaks the split as the 247 Spear League. For Pro Bowl, as he's going just over 50%, stats provided by Spread Eagle Productions. 75 through 7. For another one. Wide right. So there's opportunities. And he has a sister, half sister, Aaron, and nephew, Austin. Nine box. 84 through 8. Andy works as a pharmacy technician at Brigham and Women's. Has a Bachelor of Science in Environmental Chemistry from Plymouth State University. A 104 league bowler. His best year, 116 average, almost another strike. Has the eight pin, single pins, and pin his kryptonite. He's got two pieces of wood that possibly help. He made one with wood earlier, he's missed two without wood. And he got robbed that time. Try to go around that cap. Missed it. So I want to get a mark here in the last box after this third ball here in the ninth. Down to seven and a half. Nine. 93 through nine. Again, Andy Bulls in the same division as Corey Lisi, who took out Logan Jigrass in week one. Logan. Had Corey returned the favor. Logan ousted Corey by 10 in the ACST opening off playoffs here at Academy Lanes. Two excellent bowlers on the rise. Mike McIntosh, obviously in the same division. They see each bowler bowls each other the first three weeks of the season, the same division. In the last three weeks, in, the, in between 12 weeks, all the other bowlers in the conference, six home, six away. That does not count for Lemon Drive. It's on the second ball. All first balls. By Bowler's Choice, they agreed to pay one dollar for candle pins for cancer for our lemon drops. Or the sixth pin on your first shot. Tough second string. Tough that one, tough five, but just 98. The Andy's in trouble here. Mikey just 43, doesn't need a mark. Mac has won the first two points. The thrilling finish. 99 is the magic number, 43 pins in five boxes. Won the first, 128 to 115 here at Academy. Head pin hit again, six for six. Dean Sullivan, a 25 in a row last Friday night in the Riverwalk money match. Check it out on the Mall Network. He had 28 of 30 and 42 of 50 on the day. That's how good he was in a losing effort. Just missed the object pin. That's the 3, 6, 10, and the 7 to the left. Andy's missed three single pins. Mike has missed two so far in the match. What's there? Tough six. 16-2 through six. Right now he's a four in the string. 
Then we get some spare seven now, two nines and a five. So he's making it interesting. Now he needs 37 and four to win two. And Mike working his way back to COVID and taking time off for his family. Again, 114 average during the recent summer league. Crosses over for a strike almost. In nine pin on December 17th, that'll be a strike. Hosted by Corey Lisi and Jordan Britton. Put yourself on the waiting list. Nine pin tournament coming to Massachusetts. Academy Lanes, December 17th. For a spare. Got it. 72 in a ball. One strike, one spare in the strength. Overall, four spares, three strikes in the match. Right now, he's down three in the string, up 10 in the match, but on a bonus ball. And just a five box from Andy to Klemper in the 10th. Odds are high, but four points. Six, 78 through seven, now up three in the string. 16 in the match. High single at 210. Beautiful shot, almost. Good try. Wood got in the way of the seven pin. Ten box, 88 through eight. So a two box to go. My wood winning chicken scratch right in here. Mike McIntosh, Mac. Just needs 11 pins and two watches, but 4 nothing. Look at a fine finish. In that first, look at that finish in the first big. 39, the last two. One by 13. This time he goes left. Missed the head pin for a change. Has the 1 in the 8 makeable with that piece of wood. This is for a spare. Oh, nice shot off the wall. Beautiful play. The Mac Man, 98 in the ball, so we're tied. Official with one box to go. One pin's all he needs for the next six balls. So he's going to go up 4 nothing on Andy Klemper, who's had his opportunities. We're struggling the second string with a 6 and a 5 box. 98 string. We're above his average at 213. Two strings. Crosses over. And I believe that's 9 for 10 of the head pin the string as the hay bale, the pack of 5, which go about 31%. Pro ball is about wood. 103 through 9 is officially won the second string. Nice ball, almost again. 9 pin left up. Mike with 3 spares and 2 strikes in the first, 2 spares and 1 strike here in the second. 112 second string. That gives him 240 through two. Andy Klemper with that 98 is at 213. So right now, Mac increased the lead from 13 to 27. Two strings down, three to go. You're watching the Atlantic Campin Singles Tour, Class B Division, C Spawn Kickoff from Academy Lanes. And Pub 125 Haver Mass on Paul Grant. It's possible with you folks again. And back here tomorrow night, Wi Fi pending. If we're in the left room, it might be tough to do a live broadcast. We'll try it out. The return of the rock star of the Terminator, Aaron St. Cyr host, Charlie Collins, the Terminator, tomorrow night around 8 30 or so, give or take, at Academy Lane's Haver Mass. Mike McIntosh, Mac Man. 128, 112, 240. Andy Klumpa, 115, 98, 213. He's down 27 in the match. He starts out with lane 35 here in Haverhill. Beautiful ball, but a 3 1 split. Leads with the four, I'm sorry, the six to the left, 2 4 7. Six to the right, 2 4 7 left. I know the pin numbers, I just say them wrong sometimes. He's up to two to the left, to six to the right. Start of the third string of five. Season kickoff. Clempa, nine. 
he had a four box to start the first string, then came back with a double strike in the fourth and fifth at a 115. But Mike McIntosh, a spare strike nine in the last two boxes to win, 128, 115. And Mike won the second, 112.98. The 104 League Bowler has the 1, 6, and 10. Obviously, this is when you go for the head pin here. Third ball, you go for the short two, usually. He's trying to convert this for a spare. Got the two on the right. So, Andy's had a really good year, winning multiple tourney, tournaments. Several this year between Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Nine, again, 18 through two in the third of five. I know it's dinner time. Andy enjoys Italian stuffed shells if that makes you hungry. But dessert likes peppermint stick ice cream. I like Pomoni personally. We got Rob Brown here. Oh, Rob, you had a good win over uh, Nate Lees last week. Oh, there's a strike! What a shot! All three strikes, no doubt. Is he had a double strike in the first, a strike here in the third. Just what he needed for his confidence. 28 plus two here in the third of five. Rob, you uh, knocked out the first round. Dave Dorman in the playoffs last year. Tough luck losing the second round, but you first week you took out Nate Lees, who blown really well, 10 to four in the first week. Double strike bid leads at the war with discount to 5 and 10. Just got lucky. Had a good day. What's that? I got lucky. I had a good day. You bowled well in the money match at Riverwalk last week, too, as well. I had a good night that night, too. It's getting lucky. Field goal. You know, Got to hit the pins to make them go, but they don't always go for them. Who's your next matchup against? Uh, who's my eight the strike Randy, 36 Gingras, father. Richard Gingras Jr. We'll see tomorrow. Oh, nice shot for a 10. 46 to 4. Richard Gingras Jr., 115 league bowler, first year bowling in any kind of tournament last year. And it was rough for him getting going, but he expected to be have a strong year this year. We'll see him tomorrow. Kenlip wins for cancer at eleven o'clock on Kenlip and Bowling Network at Manchester Lakeside Lanes. If you want to register a bowl. You can register Candle Friends number 4, cancel.com. Candle Friends number 4, cancel.com will just show up 11 a.m. tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday 11 and 2, and Sunday 11 and 2. $80 entry fee, unlimited entries, free shipped. Candle Friends number 4, cancel.com. Top 5, it's live TV shows, September 25th at Portsmouth Bolarama. 1710 lead for Andy Klemper. Fifth box, third string. Nice try, but nothing doing. So, Rob Brown, good luck in the, uh, good luck in the ACST season. Thank you, Paul. We'll see you soon. Rob Brown. Andy gets a nine. 55 half. Mike McIntosh up 27 in the match. He starts on his third string in lane 35. Scores of 128 and 112 so far. Pointing to 2.13. Third. Headpin again. And breaks up the split. Has just the four pins to the left. Nine for ten in the headpin. That second string. Unofficially seven for ten in the first. He had a better string in the first. 128. The spare to start the third. 28 pin lead in the match. Plus the bonus ball. Up against a 55 half. Six spares and three strikes in the match for the Mac Man. Off to the left gets seven as the one five and the three to the right. Seventeen through one and the third of five. Maverick Academy Lanes above one twenty-five. Eight up up eight in the strength thirty-five in the match. Tough lead. He's up to one and five. Mike's had three five baggers over the course of his career. As he gets an eight. 25 through two up seven in the string, 34 in the match. 
won a few team titles, but no major wins. He does have several second place finishes in his career, including a three time runner up in the men's world championships. He did beat Dave Godwin in the Pro Series single knockout at Park Place Lanes by a score of unofficially 173 165. He wasn't sure the exact amount, right around there, he said. He lost to Jim Ayotte in the semifinals, but he missed the five pin for his spare in the 10th box with a bunch of wood. Nice shot, almost. Nudge the seven, wouldn't go. Many of his titles, he claims, came from when he was a junior bowler. He won numerous all event titles and scholarships from the NBA and ICBA, competing in the U.S. and Nova Scotia, Canada. Ten box. 35 through three. He's down one in the string. He's at 26 in the match. Up against a 10 and 9. Mandy Klemper. Best shot he's ever made was the Susie Special, the 5 7 10. Without wood. I caught up to Matt Susie made the extra pro league on Sunday on a spare for a spare. Without wood. Great shot. Catch on Kenneth Bowen Ever. Also on the Kenneth and Corner show, Corey Lee and Jordan Brin on the opening credits. Head been hit with a tough lead. The 2 8 7 10. Oh, what a try! Will it go? Almost! What a pair! It does go! Wow! What a shot for a spare! That is the shot of the week. 45 and a ball through four. Sensational. Mike McIntosh. Took its time, but it went through. Capitalizing the spare spread eagle of minus one, the clip wing eagle. 50 through four. Four in the string, 31 in the match. Trying to get at least three. It does. At least at the two and four. Strong half. Working his way back from a three year layoff. A 10 will get him 6 deep and a half and a five pin lead. He gets nine, 59 to 55 lead. Halfway through the match, Mike McIntosh leads by four and Andy Klumpa in the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour Class B Division season kickoff, week one of 18. Following with you live, Mike leads by 31 in the match. Andy Klumpa's been competitive, he's missed some chances. A strike eight in the third, 10 in the ninth since then. And on the head pin, he has the board discount to 5 and 10. And he has four spares and three strikes and a double in the first. Use the wood for try. Wasn't easy. Yes, he got glasses back here. Five pin for a 10. Nails it. 65 through 6 in string number 3. Andy likes the old video games Nintendo 64. And enjoys playing Mario Kart. Every TV show is The Masked Singer. I'll have to see if he likes to sing afterwards. Maybe he can sing a song for us. With Mike's guitar next time. There's a 3 1 split. The 4 to the left, the 3 6 10 to the right. 4 for 7 on the head pin here in the third. 104 league ball trying to work this out somehow. Good try. Oh, swiveled around. Circled all around the four pin. Wouldn't go. Heck of a try. The Terminator and the Rockstar tomorrow night here around 8.30 on ACST Facebook page. Aaron St. Cyr hosts the Terminator, Charlie Collins. 10 for Andy Klemper. 75 from 7. He's pinned well here in the string, all nines and tens, and a strike eight. Probably need a lot more to beat Mike McIntosh. Half was to right. That's my least favorite shot. His favorite movies include Jurassic Park, World Series, The Conjuring Series, The Goonies, Remember the Titans, The Blind Side, and Happy Gilmore. Some really good movies. The Blind Side's a great movie. 
favorite singer is Brent Smith of Shinedown. His favorite song is Don't Stop Believing by Journey. And he's got to believe he can pull this out still. And he gets a five the second time today. 80 through 8, in the third of five. Class A, Class B, and Class C this year. The first time Class C in a 16 team main division featuring 16 year old sensation Stephen Ashley jumped in the last moment. They only 15 teams. First match, Dr. Match up a double strike at a 152. He's a one away average at age 16. Paul Dyer, the owner of All Plan Belfast, threw a 178 in the third string of that match against Christy Hapworth. Missed the house record by one pin. Be up there on September 17th for the main money match three. They pick the date. As we come down, May 17th, uh, September 17th, a 12 8 new start on the Atlantic and uh, the Olympic Bowling Network. Main money match three be Jeff Lapierre, Mark Weber against two time champions Mark Carey and Paul Dyer. Back to back five, so it won't help Andy Klemper, 85 through 9. That's on Canada Bowling Network September 17th. And tune in to Outrun the Bear playoff broadcast. Also, right after that. That should start around 3.30 or so, 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock. Playoffs, give or take. Andy, the 1, 2, 4, the 8 beyond the 2 pin really needs a mark. If not, it'll be a danger going 0 and 6. Now he got it on cue. Two 5 blocks is a spare. 95 and a ball on the 10th. Two spares and one strike in the string. Five spares, three strikes in the match. Mike McIntosh has 59 to 55 halfway through. Four pin lead, 31 in the match. On the bonus, nice ball. Seven. Strong finish, 102. Just two pins short. It was 104 average. The two five boxes killed him. Pinned well other than that. And Mike McIntosh. Just needs 44 to go up 6 0. Season kickoff, week one, class B division matchup. Academy Lane's Averill Nassau, up 125. Check out the chicken tenders, the pretzels, my favorite pizza. Up 125, beautiful. Just, just so great looking. Come on down, check it out. And throw a few games while you have too. Mack only gets four in that first ball. Good second ball. Leads up the six to the right, the seven to the left. Mike has seven spares and three strikes in the match so far. It's the show one for a nine. 68 through six of three in the string. 30 in the match. Needs 35 in the next four to win the first three strings. Mike's an accountant, CPA, Danny Finn, territory. Not sure if Danny's a CPA, Danny's an accountant. He's got his own business, 24-7 Bookkeeping and Tax Incorporated, 2019. Oh, what a try, right behind the floor, good bid. Twenty-four seven bookkeeping and tax incorporated. Last three years. Ten. Seventy-eight through seven. Up three in the string, thirty in the match. Up against a pair of fives and a spare seven. So twenty-five is the magic number to win his third consecutive string. So we need help with your taxes or anything accounting wise, check out his business, twenty-four dash seven, bookkeeping and tax incorporated. Mike McIntosh, the owner. Just off the head, pin leads up to 1, 4, 7, 9, and 10. One piece of wood. Education at Pinkerton Academy in 1998. Earned a graduate at Franklin Pierce College in accounting in 2005. Has a graduate degree at Southern University, New Hampshire, Southern New Hampshire University in accounting in 2012. Not the movie star on the accountant. Movie. 1, 4, 7, 10. It's 2, maybe 3. 
Two it is for an eight. 86 through eight. Up six in the string, box to box. Up 33 in the match. So we need 17 pins to win the string. Cross is over, gets eight. Has the five and the nine. It's working on his release point, getting lower to the ground. To make the release smoother, prefers throwing the ball at his fingertips, which helps with rotation of the ball. And he gets a spare in the ninth. 96 in the ball. A four fill will clinch the string. Put six nothing. Third spare of the string. Two more after this. Cross is over again. Nine. He's won the third string. Up six nothing. 105 through nine. Missed it to the right. He's missed three single pins. They both missed three single pins today. Andy with that 102 is at 315 through a three. 315 through three is a club is average by three pins. Nine for Mac. 114. Third string. Wins at 114 to 102. 354 through three. The lead is. 39 in the match. Fourth string about to start. Paul Grimm, you mind? On Atlantic Kennelton Singles Tour Facebook page. Thank you for watching this outstanding game of Kennelton Bowling. We have two more things to go. Academy Lanes, Club 125, Haverhill Maps. Mike Fudge finished the first string, wins at 128, 115. Wins the second, wins the third. Red Star, fourth string. Andy Klepp will try to salvage some points here. Plenty of time left. Here's the update so far. Kennelton for cancer. Qualifying round two of six tomorrow, 11 a.m. Lakeside Lions, Manchester, New Hampshire. Klepp drops down nine in his nightmare scenario, a single pin. Has the four pin left up. 11 a.m. tomorrow, live. My Kennelton will never run a bowl, 80 or energy fee. Kennelton's number four, cancer.com. Kennelton's number four, cancer.com. Well, come on down and bowl. He missed again. He made one with wood. He's 0 for 4. Other than that, one with wood, three without wood. And that's the difference between a B class bowl and an A class bowl. Nine, stop the fourth. Shifts for Kennelton to cancer this weekend include Saturday and Sunday, September 10th, 11th, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. again. Kennelton's number four cancer to register. You can also just show up and refer you register at Kennelton's number four cancer.com. If you can't bowl, please donate to the charity, Kennelton's number four cancer.com. Nice ball for Andy Klemper, has the half list to write the three and the nine. Wood to help in between. For a spare. No, Mr. the object pin. And it does go on the delay of game. A seven second delay for a spare. He'll take it. Got a break finally. 19 of the ball through two here in the fourth. Anyway, they go. Rough. Rough. Get some people to get this. Get some people to buy these. Uh, half, what's the shoot he's saying? You can't believe it. Two in the fill. 21 through two. Got boss back. One in the ten. I always said shoot every every time S H O O T shoot every time I got a half western fill on the spare. Ten. Thirty-one through three. Nice finish in the box, but a tough break. It's down thirty-nine in the match coming in. Been competitive every string, but Mike has pulled away at the end of each string.
fourth box, fourth strength. Only one. No lemon drops today. Paul's agreed to donate one dollar. Can't pitch for cancer. Any lemon drop? Four or six penny first shot. Andy, wide right. That's the one and the five. The one goes away. Just the five pin. India nine. Forty through four in the fourth of five. And he's working his way back up. The ball is 116 season high average. He'll be back in the A division next year. Or go to the A division. As he starts off the check mark here in the fifth box of the fourth string. The five to the right, two, four, seven left. Three strikes to match to go with six pairs. And good try right behind the five. Good get to go. A 10 for a 50 half. Nudges it for a 10 for a 50 half. Great match last night at C Division in the A Division. John Alosa last night. And Cody 50. Brian Heber the second. And Eric Pauly Jr. That was an eight pin match in that one. Watch it on Facebook page last night. Atlantic Kelvin Singles Tour in Manchester last night. One of the qualifying rounds for Candlepins for Cancer tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Saturday and Sunday, 11 and 2. Register Candlepins from beforecancer.com. Mike McIntosh, fourth string. Has the four, seven left, the five, ten to the right, one piece of wood in the middle. Mike leads six to nothing. Caps it perfectly, but can't get the seven to go. Great effort. Was a 128, 112, and 114. Nine. I expect him to be in the A division next year the way he's bowling tonight, but you would tell. But he, he's bowling like he has been on his way to the A division next year. Second box, fourth string. Box is over. Eight. That's the five and the nine. The nine goes away. Now it's the kingpin, the five pin. Look for his ninth spare to go along with three strikes here in the match. Sailed left. I hate when that happens. You all that wood to the right and you miss it left. I've done it so many times. It just ticks you off and that happens to you. Back with the wood, spun around for a 10. 19 through 2. He's down 2 in the string. He's up 37 in the match. Mike won the first 128, 115. He won the second 120, 112, 112 to 98. Won the third 114, 102. Up against a 50 half, Andy Klemper. Andy Klemper. Just had 10, but he has the 1. And the six. This is for a spare. Field goal. So close to the head pin. Eight. 27 through 3 in the 4th of 5. Down 4 in the string. He did 35 in the match. Mike's bowling heroes include Carol Downey, who took two under his wing when he was young. Hall of Famer lives in Florida now. Jack Quinn, Brian Uphold, Dave Richards, Tony Marie Baldinelli, and Tim Lipke. Current bowl is just a moment. Beautiful ball in the pocket. Strike! 37 plus 2 in the 4th. Box to the fourth string. His fourth strike of the match. 
Current bowling heroes are Dave Godwin, Joe Smith, Jim Ayotte, and Jason Doucette. He's a baseball diehard growing up, played basketball and golf throughout high school. He's playing the guitar since 2000. Crosses over on the bonus. First ball to strike is seven. Six ten to the right, favorable to Wood. It's a seven pin left. Looking for a spare on strike. Good ball, almost. The ball went right by the seven. Nine in the strike, 46 through four. Six in the string, 45 in the match. Nine, 55 half. So Mike leads by five in the string. He's up 44 in the match. Andy Klumper in striking distance here, halfway through the fourth. From Academy Lane and Pub 125, Haverhill Mass. The Atlantic Kennelman Singles Tour, Class B, Season 1 kickoff. Speak 1 kickoff. Third year in the old, we call it the old semi pro. Eric Siegel won the first year. Danny Gachon won last year. Now it's called Class B instead of semi pro. Center diamond plus the 10 pin. Look at a spare, missed it to left. He's pinned well the string again. Two nines, two tens, but a spare two. Kept this total down. Just a seven that time. 57 through six. And he's high single. 164. He's done it twice. High triple 420. Same division as Corey Lisi, Logan Gingrass, and Mike McIntosh here tonight. Nice ball breaks up the, the spread eagle as the 3 6 10 to the right. For pro bowls, they go about 51% based on Kenneth Bowl Network stats. Again, wide right. He's had trouble with the second ball a lot tonight, mostly on single pins. He's trying to get two points here on the fourth. He's down 0 6 so far. Back to back sevens, 64 through seven. He had a back to back fives in the eighth and ninth blocks last string. Then got a spare seven, but lost 114 102. Andy had a 115 in the first, 98 in the second, and 102 in the third, 315. Last goes right, steals nine. He's at the sixth pin, needs to take advantage of this one. On lane 36 here in April. One more string to go after this. And this time he gets it. Two for six on single pins, two for three with wood. 74 and a ball through eight. One spare in the first, two spares in the second, third, and fourth. Two strikes in the first, one strike in the third. On the ball, 11 drop, that's $1 for Candle Pins for Cancer. But on a spare, a spare two and a spare one to string, that just kills you as a bowler. 75 through 8. Tough sledding. He's up. Six. Out, tough seven. Two seven, spare one seven. Last four boxes, 82 through nine. Needs a mark. Thirty-one year old to trying to fight his way through here. The fourth, he only gets three. Second half at a 50 half. He's in danger going to sub 90 here in the fourth. That won't get the job done against a ball like Mike McIntosh. And another tough box of six. 88 streets to 38 half. 
And Mike McIntosh only needs 34 in five boxes to go up 8 nothing. He's up 39 coming in, 24 halfway through the fourth. Cross over the head pin, has the 3, 6, and a 10, a good piece of wood to help. Had a strike down to the fourth, and wood came flying back, but it holds up right in front of the six pin. Thought he had that one. Cleans up for a 10, 65 through 6 of 8 in the string, 47 in the match. Get your wild shirts to help support Camel Pins for Cancer. Small to triple large. Message myself or Frank Luca. We have three teams that want wild, have ordered wild shirts. So get your wild on, help improve your game. Help support Camel Pins for Cancer and improve your average. The wild shirts. Message myself, Paul Grant or Frank Luca. More information. He has a beautiful ball for a strike, 9. 8 pin left up. Mac already has four strikes to match. Two in the first, one in the second, one here in the fourth. Look for his first spare of the strike. He can use the wood to get it for a spare. 75 and a ball to seven. A seven fill will win the string with three blocks to go. Andy Klumper, Andy Klumper, tough first week matchup. It won't be any easier with Jordan, uh, Corey Lisi, rather, Logan Gingrass in the same division. But it'll be good experience for him. Competition brings out the best in you. Six fill, 81 through eight, through seven rather, 81 through seven. And almost another spare, but he's won the string already. In the eighth box of the fourth string, he's up eight nothing. Over Andy Klumper, Mike McIntosh, eight nothing. Nine, ninety through eight. Meaning with an eighty eight is down to four oh three through four. Just a tad under one oh one, he's a one oh four league bowler right now. Another crossover shot. Look at this. You're going to be kidding me. The 7, the 8, and the 9. Pick your poison here. Not the 7. That's the 8 and 9. <laughs> Mike is a daughter, Molly, who just turned 6. She competed in the Massachusetts Junior State Tournament last year and did very well. Her high game is 94 at age 6, has a 70 average, also a stud on the baseball field. 8 for Mike McIntosh, Mac is at 98 through 9, of 16 in the string box to box, of 55 in the match, one string after this. His son Shane is 4 years old, also bowls in the Saturday morning junior league here at Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Both those kids love the bowl against Mac. Crossover again for another strike, but almost again, 9, so a lot of 9 drops today. He's got a ball in the nine pin tournament. December 17th, host by Corey Lisi and Jordan Britton here at Academy Lanes. Two ships available. Now a waiting list. A spare in the 10th. 108 in the ball. A strike nine, a spare six, now a spare. Ten spares and four strikes in the match. And on the spare to wrap up the fourth string of seven and a 115 fourth string. Wins at 115 to 88 by 27. Now leads by 66 with one string to go. The Atlantic Canopin Singles Tour, Class B Division, season kickoff, McAdam Lanes, Pub 125. April Mass. Paul Murphy Live. Thank you for watching. That brings back to 469, so 131 for a 600. He's trying to get back on track, his old self. 
the inning clip will try to get at least two points. It will be as high as single of 164. He's done twice. He have a chance at total. You hear the official scores on the screen? You guys start in you know we're going to get a Candlefins for cancer tomorrow, 11 o'clock. If you want a bowl, Candlefins number 4 at cancer.com. Candlefins number 4 at cancer.com. Two shifts Saturday, 11 and 2. Sunday, two shifts, 11 and 2. Candlefins number 4 at cancer.com. Candlefins number 4 at cancer.com. Why don't you show up? It's a bowl. Thank you, Lauren. Dan Castle and Millis likes to call us the Castle Shot. He's one of the broadcasters. And it's the 5, 6, and 10. What's that match? It's a That's right. Funny of worst leaves from access. Oh, he capped it beautifully. Won't go. Fifth string and final string underway here for Academy Lane. Table Ness. Andy at 10 to start. Tomorrow night, around 8.30 or so, 8.15, 8.30, the rock star Aaron St. Cyr hosts the Terminator, Charlie Collins, on Facebook here on the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour, Class A Division, Week 1 Season Kickoff. Check it out tomorrow night around 8.15, 8.30 on Facebook and ACST page. Nice ball. Another split. Six to the right, four, seven to the left. Andy with seven spares and three strikes to the match. Good try. Back to back tens to start the fifth, 20 through two. Very competitive in that first string. He was only down one or two boxes to go. Box to box. He had a spare seven to ten, but Matt came back with a after a six block in the eighth box, six box in the eighth box, he had one pin lead. He got a spare strike nine to win at 128-115. Andy with the clear. He's got about 20% for Pro Bowls of Wood Stat provided by Kenneth Bowl Network. Friday Night Pro League returns this Friday night, September 9th, 8 p.m. or so. Nice shot, 7 9 split. Friday Night Pro League. Academy One at Sunnyside, featuring the Terminator Charlie Collins, Aaron St. Cyr, Nick Norcross, Frank Luca, and Josh Daly. Shortly after 8 p.m. this Friday night, the return of the Friday Night Pro League on Canelton Bowling Network live. Eight for Andy Clumper, 28 through 3, trying to get at least two points there. It's been all Mike McIntosh all day. The Southpaw, taught by Peter Flynn, has a 3 2 split, 6 10 on the right, 2 4 7 left. We'll talk to Mike after the match is over before we sign off. Oh, what a shot! Wow, a spare, beautiful shot! 38 in the ball through 4. Randy Klepper, outstanding. And if Andy can somehow pull this up. We'll talk to him also. Eighth spare of the match. We'll have a hammer. With only three. 41 through four. The final string of the match. He's had some tough bills. Putting a spare four, spare two, and spare one. Now a spare three in the match. Sweeps it over for a center triangle. One, two, and the three to the right. Nine box, second string in a row at 50 half. Mike McIntosh has the match in hand pretty much. He's up 65 coming into the fifth string of eight nothing. And that man trying to go 14 0. Weak point sweep over Andy Clemper. On lead 35 here in Hamilton at Academy Lane, above 125. Check out the chicken tenders, my favorite pretzels, awesome pretzels, pizza, house city full bar, great staff, great place to bowl, biggest house around in the world. 44 lanes. Off the wall, nice try. These are the 9 and 10. 
Club 125 Academy Lanes, 725 South Main Street, Cable, Massachusetts, in the Bradford section. Mike up against a 50 half. It's a 9. He's down 1 in the strength, 64 up in the match. Nose breaks up the split, gets even more, gets eight, three and ten. <laughs> Spare 19 the ball through two here in the fifth. Three spares in the first to go with two strikes, two spares, one strike in the second, three spares in the third. Two spares and a strike in the fourth, a spear here in the fifth. Plays in local venues for this guitar in Havel in North Shore, Massachusetts. On the bonus, nine. 28 through two, up eight in the string, 73 in the match. The return of the back, Mike McIntosh. But two in a row, missed it. He's missed about four single pins also. He leads in the string and has command of the match. All Grand Special missed the second, make the third, 38 through three. A 10 in the string, 75 in the match. Check out Mike the Guitar Man, his Facebook page, Mike McIntosh. It's M A C capital I N. T O S H Mike M A C capital I N T O T O S H Acoustic Mike McIntosh Acoustic as well as his YouTube page. He gets a 7-10 goal pole split. He's also a Texas Hold'em poker player, enjoys all card games. His father constantly had cards in his hand while Mike was growing up. Good try, got the 10, right over the 7. So I'll have the lead halfway through the fifth string. So Andy will need about two or three marks to win this string. Both likely. 10 for Mac, 48 through 4. 7 in the string, 72 in the match. Mike was tremendous in the summer league after a three year layup, a one. 14 average this summer. Career high of 128. He had that in the first. Perfect shot. Slid the two over towards the one. Won't go, but good piece of wood. Has the three, six, ten, and the nine behind the three pin. Probably can use this wood. And does. And not quite. Six pin it remains. A 10 will give an 8 pin lead here in the 5th with 5 blocks to go in the match. He does. 58-50. Official scoreboard says 51 for Andy, so we'll change that. So make that 58-51. So officially it's a 7 pin lead, 5 blocks to go. Andy Klemper. Klemper. Trying to get at least 2 points out of 14. Won't be easy with a 3, 6, 10, and a 7 on the left. Try to kick the wood over. He's up the 3, 6, and 10. Mac is not an easy out. Beautiful shot for a 10, 61 through 6. The correction that score is a spare four in that fourth box. It registered a three initially. 61 through six, four boxes go to him to match. It's a couple of marks at least have a chance for two points. And one if there's a tie. Two four seven lead with a piece of wood in front. Really needs a spark. Missed it. 
looked a lot of his second shots away. He's had a lot of chances. He'll get better as the season goes along. He's won a lot of titles this year in tournaments. And always easy the second time around for a 10, 71 through 7. You guys still watch my videos. Andy from Quincy, Mass, originally now in Haverhill, Mass. Going for 26 years. That's a nice ball, but he has the two and the nine. What to help, possibly. I asked him what his craziest shot he had made. I'll tell you in just a moment. As he goes for a field goal. He hit the two pin on a shot one time. Blew up everything else except the one seven ten. Then all of a sudden, the three pins collapse like someone pulling a string without wood for a strike. It's the craziest shot he's ever seen. Nine. Eighty through eight. So need at least one mark, probably two, to have any chance of the string for any points in the match. Otherwise, it could be a Mike McIntosh 14-0 sweep in week one of 18. It's two. Not going to be easier. Easy two against Corey Lisi or Logan Gingrass in the same division. Good second ball spare. Nice comeback. 90 to ball through nine. Still has a chance for the string. Finally gets a chance to smile. Second spear of the string. Nine spears, three strikes in the match. On the bonus, right half Western. Yikes. 92 through nine. Really needs to convert to any chance, probably, at the string. That's not going to help. So Mac does not need a mark to win the string. And he's hit 500. He's at 501 right now. And he's at a 1 in 5 for an 8, 100, fifth string. So not the starting one of the season, 503. Mike McIntosh will the 14 0 sweep in week one of the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour Class B Division. He's 43 in four boxes. And the way he's throwing that ball, the ball today, I can't see that happening. But you never know, it's a funny game. He has the post. He's up all but the head pin. And he pinned really well over on that second half. He had a 10, a 10, a 9, a spare two half whister though, and then an 8 box. Back with a 9. 67 through 6, up 6 in the string. The match is won. He's up 71 right now. He's got 12 points. Cross over on the head pin. Has the three in the center, five to the left, ten to the right. Might get a spare nine in the second box. Looking for a spear here in the seventh to put it away. And he does. 77 in the ball. Up six in the string plus a ball. Twelve spares and four strikes in the match. And watch out for this gentleman. B division. Cross over again. 310 again. Eight in the strike, a spare, rather, eight in the spare, 85 through seven. Another spare. Second in the row, third in the string, 95 in a ball. With three blocks to go, he just needs a three fill on the spare to clinch all 14 points. 
We'll talk to Mike Mac Macintosh before we sign off. Goes left, he gets three. So he's won the string, he's won the match. Match is well in hand. So he's right now he's up to 101 overall. He goes three on the pair. And this time leads to the one, nine, and ten. Candlepins for cancer qualifying round. Tomorrow, round two is six, 11 a.m. at Lakeside Lanes, Manchester, New Hampshire. Saturday and Sunday, September 10th and 11th, 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Please register Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Can oh, beautiful shot, 10. Pretty out. 108 through nine. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Tomorrow, 11 a.m. Saturday and Sunday, 11 and two. $80 entry fee per shift. Unlimited number of entries, $80 per shift. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Candlepins number four, cancer.com. Top five to the live TV show, Boys of the Ball Romer, Sunday, September 25th, 11 a.m. on Candlepin Bowling Network. We'll be streaming tomorrow and Sunday. Saturday, we'll be streaming live at the at Greg Guya at the Women's Doubles event, Extra Lanes, Extra New Hampshire, 11 a.m. Help support the Lady Bowlers. So I won't be streaming the Candlepins of Cancer on Saturday. Women's Double event will be streaming that day from Extra. Final box in the string in the match. Mike was terrific all day. 10, 118, fifth string. Mike McIntosh wins it 14 0 over Andy Klempa. 587. And we'll put the official scores on the screen. We'll talk to Mike before we sign off. Here's the official scores. Recapping five strings. Andy in a close first string, pulled away at the end. A tight first string, one at 128, 115, one the second, 112.98. Take a 27 pin one. One the third, 114, 102, up by 39. One the fourth, 188, up by 66. Wins the fifth, 118 to 100, by 84 pins. Let's talk to Mac before we sign off. And again, tomorrow night, the return of the rock star, Aaron St. Cyr, and the Terminator, Charlie Collins, around 8.30. Right here for Academy Lanes, Wi-Fi pending on the Facebook page. We had a Candlepin single score. Let's talk to Mac before we sign off. Mac, good, good effort today. Andy was very competitive at the beginning. Threw a lot of good first balls. The second shot seemed to get away from him, but he's a good bowler and he's going to get better. The competition bowl like your is going to help. Uh, who was the difference? So you really he had you on the ropes in that first string. You got a couple good big marks in the end of the first string. Yeah, I came down and needed a single pin there, and then a little fortunate on the strike, and then the 10th. But after that, I felt a little comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I felt like the, your old days, 128 average in the first string. Yeah, you know, hey, sometimes when you're away from this game because you get frustrated, you miss it. So it's good to compete again and be back. So what, do you, what have you been working on since you came back during the summer to get your game back to your old self? You had a 117 average overall when sure. you came back. What are you working on to get your game better? Um, just using my body more, my legs, slowing things down, and then just trying to really get that smooth delivery. That's really it, and reach out. If I don't reach out, I short arm, and it usually goes to the left. So yeah. Good luck the rest of the way. you got right, either Corey Alisi or, and um, Logan Jinkgrass. They bowled each other in the playoffs last year in the first round, a 10-pin yeah. win yeah, I'm looking for Logan. Team. And then Corey turned the favor in the first week. So a very good competitive division. Yeah, it'll be fun. Your fun. thoughts against those two other two bowlers? Yeah, I haven't seen them bowl a lot, but uh, either way, I know they're going to be a tough match. Right. Yeah. Congratulations, winning 4 nothing. So Mike McIntosh, the Mac man, bring your guitar next time. Let me do a so little solo, okay, next time? Right, you all Defeats Andy Klemper, good, good competition, good, good effort. Fall short. Uh, you want to talk for a second, Andy? Andy, tough luck loser. Andy, you threw a good ball overall. Your second ball seemed to get away from you a lot. I thought you were very competitive in a lot of the strings. Just had trouble with that second ball a lot. Yeah, that second ball was just uh, tough. It just kept slipping out of my hand, and it just kept getting away from me. But oh, good. congrats to Mike for the bowling ball tonight. Well, good luck the rest of the season. You throw a good ball, I think, overall. You'll be fine next time, I think. All right, thank you. All right, so Mike McIntosh wins at 14 nothing, week one of the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour, Class B Division from Academy Lanes. Haven Mass, check out Pub 125 next time you come by. Paul Green saying so long for now. Thank you for watching this outstanding game of Hamilton Bowling. Thank you. Yeah.